Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Q&A video and this one is baby related. So if you guys are not interested in baby content, totally understand. That's why I'm filming this as a separate video. So you can go ahead and skip this one. If you're interested in hearing about baby H, then go ahead and keep watching. I'm not planning on doing a lot of like pregnancy content on my channel. I don't know if that'll change. I don't know if that'll multiply. I have no clue because right now I'm just like winging it. <laughs> and I don't really watch a lot of mommy content on YouTube. I'm definitely still totally in love with makeup. And so I just don't see me really showing baby on the channel and things like that. But who knows? That could change. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Since you guys are like my friends and family here on YouTube, I definitely thought it would be fun to answer some questions and see what you guys were curious about with Baby H. So let's go ahead and check out what you guys asked me. Okay, so the first question I have is, do you have any names picked out? And um, <laughs> this is interesting. So we do have names on a list and we've been working on the list for some time even before we found out we were pregnant and it's so hard to narrow it down and i don't think like me and rel have like really agreed on any names but we do have like a favorite name and we'll see we'll see i feel like i want to meet the baby before I definitely like decide on a name because maybe the personality will show more and then I'll be sure about the name so we have a name picked out but right now I'm just kind of keeping it to myself and we'll see if I change my mind or not or if we change our mind or not somebody asked any cravings it's been so weird because I feel like cravings are such a big question and people talk about like pickles and this and that and for me a big thing has been like lots of water in the first trimester I was drinking so much water and I really liked ice water so my hydro flask really came in handy for that and I feel like I've been drinking less water now that I'm in like my second trimester but yeah water was a big one I was really craving a lot of sandwiches which was really funny because you can't actually have like cold meat when you're pregnant so I've been eating Jimmy John's but I've been microwaving all of my sandwiches to cook them my doctor said you could do that so those I think were the two big ones and then just felt like I was eating more sweets but not really that much so definitely just a lot of savory food which is what I prefer anyway I'm not a huge like sweet person so yeah hopefully that answers that and then what is something you didn't expect from pregnancy oh my gosh this one is so funny because I feel like I have some friends that are moms but a lot of my friends are still kind of like newlyweds or like in that newlywed phase or they're trying to get pregnant so I feel like I'm in like uncharted territory plus I like don't really have any family here and I'm an only child so I don't really have like a sister that has been through like pregnancy or anything like that so I feel like everything is like new to me and I never really did a lot of research on like pregnancy and things like that so for me the unexpected things have been honestly how um <laughs> this is funny but um constipation I feel like people don't tell you that but I looked it up and yeah it's a thing <laughs> I never really had like huge issues going to the bathroom before but now I just feel like it's not as easy and I don't go to the bathroom as much which is weird like number two not number one <laughs> sorry that's TMI and then the other thing that just started happening probably like a month now has been like my hips and I just felt like I almost like dislocated my hip and I was so freaked out because I'm like what is this hip pain and so I googled it and it's basically your body like expanding and preparing for birth which <laughs> blows my mind because I still have like four months to go pretty painful like especially at nighttime when you're trying to sleep um, but the article or whatever I read said sleep on your side and that usually typically takes care of the pain so 
I just when I feel like my hips are hurting and I'm asleep I'll turn to my side and that usually makes it feel better so hopefully if you guys are experiencing something like that I just helped solve the mystery for you because I was like what the heck is going on like do I need to go to the hospital did I break my hip like what is happening oh and then the other thing that I didn't expect was pregnancy brain pregnancy brain is totally real also I know people say like you're super tired but this is like a whole nother level of tired so those are some of the things I didn't expect so the next question is was it planned and yes it was planned we had been trying for a while and I think I talked about it a little bit in like a end of year roundup video I did or like my expectations for 2021. I think I had mentioned like we were hoping that we would have a baby. So it was really exciting and yeah, it was planned. Okay, are you hoping for a boy or a girl and congratulations to you both. So when I posted this Q&A slide, I didn't know if I was having a boy or a girl and now I know what we're having so I was I was definitely hoping for a boy and you'll have to wait and see what we're having I haven't thought of a cool way to announce it yet so um <laughs> sorry to leave you guys hanging but I do want to um do some kind of photo or something for the gender reveal so we'll see what I come up with so yeah once you guys see what we're having I guess I can answer that question. <laughs> Just having a healthy baby is what's important, so. Okay, how long have you been with hubby and what are your pregnancy cravings? So pregnancy cravings, I feel like I answered, I mean just food in general. I just love like rice and curry is my fave. And then how long have we been together? Like six years now? And this year will be our five year wedding anniversary. Okay, this is a cool question. How do you plan to teach baby H both of your cultures? That's going to be interesting because I feel like it's really hard to do when you live so far away from both of your countries. I definitely want them to know where their parents are from, but I know there's like some parents that really hold on to the culture they came from, like from the dress to the food to all of those things. And I feel like because of my age, I'm not like that. I feel like I've definitely kind of learned to appreciate where I came from and also appreciate where I am now. I think it'll be interesting because my parents are planning on moving here at some point. And so it'll be interesting to see how much of that gets transferred to our child from them. And I'm also contemplating like, do I teach them Sinhalese? Cause I don't really speak it and like it's not really like a very popular language like if I was like Chinese or something it would make sense to teach my kid Chinese because so many people speak it it's a very handy skill to have or Spanish or something like that but I'm like I don't know since I don't see us like going back to live in any of the places that we're from I feel like that would be kind of like pointless but also kind of fun because I guess that would be like a secret language I don't know I honestly don't know and then as far as South African culture it'll be interesting too I think definitely real will have to take the lead on that and I feel like he'll do a very good job because we're both very proud of where we come from so it's definitely not something that we want to shy away from but I just don't know how much control we would have given where we live but yeah we're definitely not gonna shy away from it or hide it or anything like that and as soon as we have the opportunity to travel to each of our home countries we'd love to do that as well somebody also asks how has pregnancy been so far i will say it's been very unexpected i feel like i have the opposite of what like people typically say pregnancy is like like so many people have a lot of morning sickness. I think that's the big thing that I haven't had, which I'm honestly so grateful for. I also feel so privileged that a lot of my pregnancy I've gotten to spend at home, which makes me so happy. I'm still tired because I do work at a boutique and I also work from home. So definitely not like a reduced workload, but just being in the comfort of my own home has been really nice. And yeah, just not being on my feet as much as I used to be is also nice. And yeah, 
I think just the lack of morning sickness has been a blessing for me. Okay, somebody asked, what has changed? Skin, hair, swelling, nails, hungry. Um, I definitely do get hungry, but I don't think it's anything more than usual. I definitely need to be more conscious though, because I feel like if it was just me, I'd be like, eh, whatever. I can wait, you know, to eat and stuff like that. So I do try to be better about that. Not 100% perfect, but you know, my skin and my hair has been pretty good so far. I haven't had any like major breakouts or anything. I do feel like my hair got like longer because people say prenatals do that. But honestly, like I feel like maybe because I'm pregnant, like people just notice that my hair is longer. I don't, I don't know. It's a mess right now. I washed it and I was too lazy to style it so I just put a hairband on. Anyway, <laughs> my nails I felt like were really strong in the first trimester but that didn't stick. <laughs> They're in pretty bad shape right now but I refuse to stress about the fact that my nail polish is chipped and yeah I haven't seen any swelling yet but definitely my feet just hurt all the time. Tips for pregnancy safe makeup. Feel like it's easy to go down a rabbit hole. I honestly haven't researched that. Should I be researching that? I don't I don't know. Uh the only thing I heard is like don't use like AHAs and stuff like that, which or no, don't use retinol. Yeah. I think those that's the only thing I heard is don't use retinol. So I've been staying away from retinol but other than that, I, I don't know. So if you guys know, please let me know in the comments if that is something I should be looking into because I didn't think it would be an issue. Next, any name ideas? Love baby names. That's fun. Um, I have some ideas, but hey, if you guys have good suggestions, don't hold back in the comments because I definitely want something like unique for my kid's name. How do you find filming while pregnant? Honestly, it's not so bad. Like I said, it's just been such a life change to go from like a nine to five to working from home and working multiple jobs. So I feel like I'm still really trying to figure out like my schedule and then I'll make like appointments sometimes and then I'll forget and then pregnancy brain kicks in and I'm just like one mess. Like I feel like I'm just going from here to there to here to there and I'm like telling my husband, I'm like, honey, I literally can't keep up some days uh, but that's not a filming thing that's just like a life thing so I'm trying to get really organized trying to keep my calendar you know up to date and stuff like that so I don't forget any of my appointments and things like that but filming has not been different for me I think that if I was like more sick or anything like that it would be affected but so far it's been fine and I don't know like what maternity leave is gonna look like if I'm gonna take some time off or if I'm gonna pre-film so yeah we'll see we'll see I don't know who knows okay so the next question is did you use any fertility treatments we did not uh, but one thing I will say is this is something I didn't know and I'm so glad the person that like told me this told me this because it was so helpful and it's definitely something that I don't know if it's because like I said I don't have any sisters or anything to have talked to about this but um, one of my old co-workers recommended ovulation sticks, strips, something and they were so helpful with timing so if you're working on getting pregnant and you're like feeling like you're flying a plane without instructions I would recommend ovulation strips because that really helped us kind of figure out when the best time was for things and there's tons of YouTube videos with people like journaling and charting and tracking their fertility periods and things like that and I think that was really helpful for me to just like research and I feel like knowledge is power with these things so hopefully that helps okay somebody asked was it difficult keeping it to yourself no it wasn't difficult we shared with our like friends and family and stuff like that I just didn't share on social media because I don't know I just wasn't really like I think it's beautiful and wonderful for me and my family and my husband and stuff like that but I just wanted to I don't know <laughs> I don't know so it wasn't difficult no and um, it was really fun announcing it to you guys and I couldn't thank everybody enough for all the positive comments and 
yeah, we're just so excited. So thank you guys for that. How did I tell my husband? That's a good one. So basically I had an idea and I think I didn't want to get too excited because that's the kind of person I am. I try to like downplay everything so that my expectations are low and then I won't be disappointed. So I had a feeling because my period was late and I was like, eh, well, you know, it that can happen sometimes like it's not really a sign of being pregnant so I was excited I had told him I was excited and then finally we decided like we're gonna take a test and obviously you need to pee on a stick to take a pregnancy test so I wanted to go to the bathroom at like four o'clock in the morning and I was like well I guess I have to do this now because what if I don't want to pee later <laughs> at 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. or whatever time I was waking up at so Peed on the stick, it said pregnant, and of course I was so excited and I had to like tell Rel because he was excited to find out and so I knew if I went back to sleep and didn't tell him he'd probably be not very happy with me so I woke him up at 4 a.m. and told him I was pregnant so yeah it was it was fun like I didn't want to film any of that I don't know I know different people have different you know expectations of how they want to document things and I just really enjoyed just having that moment with him and not like I don't I didn't want to film at 4 a.m. obviously so just told him like I would tell him anything else that, that was exciting I guess do you find pregnancy difficult or do you love it I personally loved every minute but I know people have I'm sure they have said something like some people have a bad experience I don't say I wouldn't say I love it and I wouldn't say I hate it it's definitely exciting but it definitely has like some not so exciting parts like the pain but it's a part of life so <laughs> did you imagine you would feel better or worse than you do I definitely thought I would feel worse than I do so I'm very glad to not <laughs> have you already began planning the nursery so interesting, we have a three bedroom house. Our master suite is upstairs and then our two spare bedrooms are downstairs. So we haven't quite figured out what we're gonna do yet because I don't know that I wanna be so far away from the baby. So we'll see what happens. Obviously we're gonna have them in our room the first couple of months. So we're just gonna wing it, honestly. I feel like with COVID and stuff, we've been really good about using our house to best suit our needs not what like society tells you you need so for example my husband really wanted a stationary workout bike and i was like put it in the living room who cares like you know it's your house too and i have this like aesthetically very pleasing living room i would say like our formal room living room is very nice i really like it and the bike doesn't really look the greatest there but i'm like Honestly, at this point, like, who cares? He gets use out of the bike because it's in, like, our main living room. I can talk to him while I'm in the kitchen, while he's riding his bike. We can spend time together simultaneously. So I feel like if I decide that I want to have my nursery set up in my living room, like, who's going to stop me? So that's, that's where we're at so far because I'm like, I don't really foresee myself taking this room apart and turning it into a nursery. And Rail technically has like the guest room slash his office. So it would probably be that room, but I don't know. I feel like I would rather us move because we kind of want a bigger house, but the housing market, <laughs> if it's anything like it is here in your area, you know like how ridiculously overpriced houses are right now. So we're just gonna make it work. So to make a short story long <laughs> we don't have a nursery planned yet but i'm not too worried about it honestly okay so that is it for all the questions you guys had i don't know if there's anything else i really wanted to add i think you guys asked me some really good questions so i think i was able to cover everything that was kind of on my mind if i missed anything let me know if you guys want to see you know another update maybe closer to my due date I can definitely do that I'm also contemplating what else you guys might want to see let me know right now I'm just winging it like I said I definitely have a lot to do still we got a shower to plan and a bag to pack and <laughs> supplies to pick up and yeah it's a lot so I've definitely been watching some videos from other creators that have had kids and stuff like that and it's very exciting if you guys have recommendations 
honestly I'm so curious to hear your thoughts and wisdom because yeah I just don't know like there's so much out there that I'm trying to be really picky about what I consume but I know a lot of you have already had kids and you have a lot of experience so I'm all ears <laughs> for soaking up the knowledge and please don't scare me with weird stories <laughs> like I appreciate the concern but let's just keep it positive and informative and not too scary. That is it. I hope you enjoyed this q and I'm sorry if I was a little all over the place, but it's a lot to put out there on the internet. I'm definitely, definitely trying to really think through what I want to share um, with baby and we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're wondering what all this makeup is on my face, it's the BH Cosmetics new travel series palettes. That video should already be up and it should be linked in the description box if you guys want to check it out. Thank you guys always for being so supportive, honestly. I know everybody says they have the best subscribers, but you guys are truly just wonderful and I feel like my comment section is always like so wonderful and people aren't mean and I love that about it. So. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys in my next video soon. Bye, guys!